Skywind, a long-running project to remaster the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind in the Skyrim engine. So far, it has essentially been in the works for some six years, with a team entirely made up of devoted fans and volunteers. In this video, I'll take a quick look at everything that's been done so far, how it was done, and in the end, what's left to finally finish the project. As with all things, there's a beginning, so I'll start there. The larger community is known as the Elder Scrolls Renewal Project. It has roots older than you may think. The community has already recreated Morrowind in the Oblivion engine, to decent success. It even included the original DLC from Morrowind, however, it didn't feature voice acting, or a large amount of polish for that matter. The team realized that they wanted to create a fully polished game worthy of the quality Bethesda itself strives for. So in the early alpha stages of development, the team leaders decided they wanted to remove the current public build and work on Skywind internally to create the game with greater efficiency and hopefully a greater end product. This is more akin to how a legitimate business would create a game. Another team from the Renewal community with some coinciding members has almost finished another project of almost equal note to remaster Oblivion in the Skyrim engine. Estimates have been made that this is near 90% completion, but that's a story for another day. This brings us to the big kahuna, the main chunk of development where the team learnt, after contacting Bethesda's community outreach program, that if they wanted to finish the project, they would have to make their own assets to avoid any legal issues. They would also learn that they couldn't take any donations or money of any kind to fund the project. This meant their progress would be slow, relying entirely on volunteers and fans to fuel its creation. The team had already imported all the assets from Morrowind, from quests to flora, fauna, and of course, the main island of Varumfell itself, where the game takes place. But they needed to modernize it and remake all of the 3D models in the game, as per Bethesda's terms. So they brought in writers to rewrite 10,000 lines of dialogue, and quests to fit in with the new engine. Landscapers started their work to construct and fill the outside world, and concept artists started drawing up their ideas to remake all the armors, weapons, locations, animals, enemies, people, and even clutter that filled up this rich game world. Concept art is something that has been done pretty much since the start of the project, and is still being done now in 2018. There is an immense amount of it made for this mod. I can only show part of it just because of how much there is, but I'll leave a link to their DeviantArt page so you guys can have a look for yourself. Concept art is an important part of the creative process for making a game. It lays out the rough blueprints for pretty much all the visuals. Everything you see has been drawn by an artist. Since all the 3D models and assets for Skywind have to be made from scratch, concept artists have the job of deciding how these look, while keeping in mind that a 3D modeler has to be able to recreate the objects later on so they can actually be put in the game world. A few members of the Renewal community have been streaming their work on Twitch. I'll link them below as well, as they were kind enough to let me use their footage. 3D modeling. A big part of what's so impressive about this project is that all the 3D objects from the original Morrowind game have been and are still being created by their 3D artists. Although having to do this makes progress slower, the Skywind team has taken it as an opportunity to truly recreate the entire game from their own ideas. While, of course, not straying too far from the original style. Remember, they are fans of the series too. Anyway, progress on the modeling side of things has been very promising. So far, they've shown off just about every kind of clutter, armor, and random object you can think of. Weapons and armor are still being made and even concepted at this time, but a lot of the original armors have been made already, and they look damn pretty if I do say so myself. Next in the pipeline is landscaping. As 3D models are pumped out by the modeling team, they get imported into the engine and the landscaper's work begins. The original Morrowind game, although a marvel in its time, definitely leaves something to desire in the current game market. The map was large, sure, but the land was sparse and largely empty. Of course, you don't notice this in the old game because the render distance only lets you see about 10 feet in front of your face. But with the Skyrim engine, you can see for miles, so enter landscapers. The island of Vardenfell is a big place. Not as big as Skyrim is in square mileage, but pretty damn big at 9.3 square miles. This leaves a lot of real estate to be filled up and made all pretty by the landscaping team. Landscaping and modeling in particular are in need of new people to help in their endeavors. So if you have skill in the creation kit for Skyrim and or any 3D modeling skills, maybe check out the link below and join the team. For landscapers to finish their work, they need 3D models. So yeah, take a look if you're interested and take part in the project. 
Further up the pipeline is animation. With all the new assets and crazy wildlife being a part of this project, new animations are absolutely necessary. In fact, the multiple weapon types in Morrowind has led the team to create an entire new set of animations for spears. In Skyrim, staves were made wholly magical, but what if you wanted to stab a dude before they could stab you? Well, Morrowind had spears. It had halberds, and hell, it even had plain staves that you could just kind of whack people with. <laughs> anyway, they're doing spears. And of course, the animals and enemies that need custom animations are being done too. Yes, even the cliff racers. Jub hasn't done his job yet, they're still everywhere. Unfortunately, throwing weapons have been scrapped from the project. As new or old weapon types go, spears are a solo edition. Although, Skywind will have its own category as a game on the Nexus Mods website, so I'm sure that someone will bring back the shurikens that nobody ever used. Coding. This is something that ties in gameplay with the world and everything in between. It's a bit like the God Particle. Coding acts as the glue that sticks everything together in a big mod like this. Obviously showing how coding is done is not the most interesting thing, but I can show some of the things that coding team has worked on. Basically coding, or scripting, makes the world a more interesting and believable place, enriching the player's experience. From new kinds of spells and interactive objects, to core mechanics such as the new skill and perk system, scripting does it all. Without it, every dungeon and quest would be the same boring drudge. It's essential to a great gaming experience. Finally, with all the visual and gameplay aspects of the project out of the way, there is the cherry on top. The audio, music, sound effects, and voice acting. The music in this video is entirely from the official playlist for the Skywind project. With dozens of composers contributing to the music of Skywind, there are multiple hours of original pieces. With region-specific and general ambiance, there's more music content than any Elder Scrolls title so far. And as you can hear, it definitely doesn't lack in the quality department. I'll leave a link to some of the public music in the description. Sound design is another big part of the audio of Skywind. Every area in Morrowind has different sounds, and every creature needs them too. The world would be pretty bland without sound effects to go with it. The team has had to make sounds for every interactive object. As you can probably imagine, making a Liverpool sound effect memorable isn't the easiest thing. And finally, voice acting. Perhaps one of the most ambitious parts of the development process. Unlike future Elder Scrolls games, the original Morrowind game had no fully voiced characters. All speech was done through an interactive text box. So bringing all this text to life in the form of voice acting is a Herculean task. Yet I wonder, will you miss the taste of blood on your lips? Even with the dialogue rewritten by the writers, the speech system works in essentially the same way as Morrowind. And so the voice actors must bring every line no matter how mundane to life, making every character feel fleshed out and present. We are happy here, but the town would prosper if there were more women. Most men here are single and need wives. I myself don't have any of the skills needed for any of the project teams, but I do have a half decent microphone. So, since I played the Elder Scrolls game since I was around three years old, with Morrowind being one of my first video games ever, I decided I wanted to try out for voice acting on the project. So far I've been accepted, but I need a bit more practice. <laughs> Here's a few snippets of my attempts at a couple characters. Perhaps Azura is with you after all. And perhaps not. Dragons. Oh, they're everywhere. You must fly very high to see most of them though. The ones nearer the ground are hard to see, being invisible. So if you have skill sets surrounding any of the parts of the project, maybe think about checking out the link in the description and joining their Discord community. As they say, you could be the next important part of the team, and if you've enjoyed the Elder Scrolls as much as I have throughout the years, and if you've got some spare time on your hands, think about contributing. 3D modeling, landscaping, and voice acting are probably the areas most in need of new members. So yeah, check it out. As for a release date, don't try asking for it on the Discord. <laughs> they have a bot set up that responds to it, with a quirky meme. They get so many people asking for it, they set it up. I would think it's safe to say, however, that it won't be finished this year, but it should be playable in the near future. 
If you guys enjoyed this kind of video, let me know in the comments. How? Leave a like too, or a dislike if you didn't. And let your friends know about Skywin. They might be able to help out too, or they might just be interested in it. Anyway, I'll see you guys out there.